Fitzgerald's got it. Fitzgerald trying to play it back out to the line, but intercepted by Paul Willett. And now uh, two players collide, and a penalty coming up to Mike Stevens, and thereafter, actually, it's Rusty Fitzgerald, and uh, Guy Dupuis goes after Rusty Fitzgerald. And they're at the blue line. Their gloves have dropped, and neither is able to get a hand free. Fitzgerald has to defend himself as Guy Dupuis came after him. And Fitzgerald tried to get the right hand free. I'm not sure if there'll be an instigating penalty, but if there is, I think it's got to go to Guy Dupuis. Well, not only that, the other player from the Fort Wayne tried to kick Fitzgerald's feet from underneath him. Guy Dupuis and Fitzgerald never really got any punches thrown in that little melee, but this is going to be an interesting call by referee Dean Warren. Well, Fitzgerald's going to get the initial call. He's going to get a two-minute slashing penalty. And then <clears throat> Dupuis comes after him. I think Dupuis got a little shock. I'll tell you what, we're going to take a commercial break while they sort these out. And we'll have more from the Memorial Coliseum in Fort Wayne when we return on the Jacks Hockey Network.